Welcome to this video lesson on solving trigonometric equations. So in this video, we are going to learn on how to solve uh, trigonometric equations of this nature. So we're going to have this example to start off. So 5 sine squared x minus 2 is equals to 2 cosine of x. And you're supposed to give your solution within this range that is given here. So the very first thing that you require to remember is that when you're given uh, such a question and you're required to give your answer or your solution in radians, you can decide first to work in degrees and then later on you can convert the degrees at the end to the required uh, solution that is in radians. So to start off, you need to rearrange this equation. And this one is very important. Don't forget this. Remember this, that sine a squared alpha plus cosine squared alpha is equals to 1. This one is a trigonometric identity, which is very important for us to remember as we proceed with this lesson. So this one, you can substitute this alpha with any letter. It can be sine squared x plus cos squared x is equals to 1. It can also be uh, sine squared a plus cos squared a is equals to 1 or any other letter. You can use any other letter as long as... Uh, this is sine squared and this one is addition and this is cos squared uh, is equals to 1. So from this identity, you can also extract this from this. Cosine squared alpha is equals to 1 minus sine squared alpha. So how do you get this? You get this by taking, you just take this uh, sine squared alpha to the other side. And so you have 1 minus sine squared alpha. You can also express it like this, this identity, whereby you take sine squared alpha is equals to 1 minus cos squared alpha, whereby you take this uh, cosine squared alpha to the other side. So if you look at this uh, question that we have, an example, what has happened here, where well, you have 5 into bracket 1 minus cos squared uh, x, this one has been replaced uh, from here. So sine squared x, uh, which is the same as sine squared alpha. Look at this identity. This is where this one has come. So this one is the same. Sine squared x is the same as 1 minus cos squared x from this identity. You can use any letter. You can use alpha. You can use x. So in this case, uh, you can use x. You can say sine squared x plus cos squared x. So therefore, this sine squared x is the one that has been replaced um, here for us to have this. So negative 2 then minus 2 is equals to 2 cos x. So from there you have something like this. Uh, when you open this bracket and you reorganize you have 3 minus 2 cos x minus 5 cos squared x is equals to 0. When you reorganize this equation and uh, you want to remain with zero on the right hand side of the equation now you bring everything to this side and after opening you get this so how do you proceed from this point because uh, there are so many steps that are involved uh, before we arrive to this answer here so from here i want us to start off from here now you have three minus two cosine of x minus five cosine squared of x is equals to zero i want us to begin from there so this is where I want us to begin uh, from our previous slide. 3 minus 2 cos uh, x minus 5 cos squared x is equals to 0. Remember this one, uh, this is where we have left. Eh? This is where we are beginning. We are beginning from here. We are picking it from here to see how you arrive to these answers here. So when you have this kind of uh, an equation, again, you have to reorganize this equation so that it takes a form of a general quadratic equation. So what you're going to do, you can start off with a negative 5 cos x, is there, cos squared x, minus 2 cos x, which is this, then plus 3, plus 3 is equal to 0. That is just a reorganization so that our equation can take the form, uh, the format of a general quadratic equation. So now you have this negative 5 cos squared x minus 2 cos x uh, plus 3 is equal to 0. So the next thing that you can do, you can multiply everything by negative. Multiply everything by negative and you'll have this one is uh, positive. So when you multiply this by negative, you have positive. When you multiply this one by negative, you have positive. When you multiply this plus 3 with negative, you have negative 3. 
So this is what you get after multiplying. You want to eliminate this negative, that is why you have to multiply everything by that negative. So when you look at this uh, equation now, 5 cos squared x plus 2 cos x minus 3 is equal to 0, you realize that it forms, uh, it, it is in a format of a general quadratic equation. So what you do, in such a case, you can let uh, cosine of x to be y. You can let it to be y. You can let it to be any letter. It can be m, it can be y. In this case, this is y. So you're going to substitute cos x. Everywhere you find cos x, substitute it with y. So this one you have 5 cos squared x. So you have 5y squared. This one you have 2 cos x. Remember our cos x is y. So you have plus 2y minus 3 is equals to 0. Now you'll see that you have a simpler uh, quadratic uh, equation that you can be able to solve in the normal way that we solve. So when you're solving this, you get a product. Look for two numbers. When you multiply them, you get negative 15. This is 5 times negative 3. Add them, you get positive 2. This is the one. And uh, you get those numbers. Of course, you get those numbers are 5 and negative 3. The numbers are 5 and negative 3. Those are the two numbers. So after you get that, you come and uh, insert them here. So 5y squared. I want to write uh, 2y using 5 and negative 3. So it will be 5y minus 3y, which is 2y minus 3 is equals to 0. Now factor out 5y squared plus 5y. What is common? 5y is common. Factor it out. You have into brackets y plus 1 minus uh, 3y and uh, negative 3. Negative 3 is common. Yeah, negative 3, negative 3, you can see. So factor out negative 3 to bracket. So you have y plus 1 is equals to 0. Remember, when you open this bracket here, it should uh, take you back to this. So from here, you get 5y minus 3. Uh, 5y, you pick this 5y, negative 3 to brackets. y plus 1 is equals to 0. Now from this, you pick it like this. Eh? 5y minus 3 uh, is equals to 0. So you'll have uh, 5y is equals to 3. Then equate this one to 0 again. y plus 1 is equals to 0. So you have y is equals to you have y is equals to negative 1. So you realize um, you get y from this. After equating this one to 0, you get y is equals to 3 over 5. After equating this one to 0, you get y is equals to 1. But you remember that your y was cosine of x from here. So remember it now and put it back. So y is equals cos x. Therefore, um, cosine of x is equals to 3 over 5. This is the first one. And cosine of x is equals to negative 1. This one. This solution. So from there you can proceed now and get our angles. If you have cosine of x is equals to 3 over 5, then to get this angle x, you get cos inverse of both sides. So cos inverse of 3 over 5 will give us 53.1 uh, degrees. Then cosine of x is equals to negative 1. If you want to get um, x, you get cosine inverse of uh, negative 1. So you get cos inverse of negative 1, which is 180. Another important thing that you're supposed to remember is these um, the, these quadrants, uh, the unit circle from the unit circle. These four quadrants, these are first quadrant, second, third, and fourth. And these ones, we start from 0, 90, 180, 270. And also I have expressed them in terms of pi radians. So 90 is pi radians over 2, 180 is pi radians, 270 is 3 over 2 pi radians. 360, we have not indicated, but this one is 2 pi radians. So let's proceed now and get our solution. Now from there, since we got uh, cosine of x is 3 over 5, and we got uh, the first, the angle there was 53.1, so we ask ourselves, because this one is positive, cosine is positive, where is cosine positive in these quadrants? Cosine is positive here, all of them are positive, uh, sine cosine and tangent all of them are positive so 53 is uh, in the first quadrant and since 3 over 5 this one is positive so 53.1 will be our first solution then uh, we are still uh, in our range our range is 2 pi radian 2 pi radian is the same as 360 the other one will be here in the fourth quadrant because this is where again where we find uh, cosine being negative 
So in this quadrant, to get the angle in this quadrant, you take 360, uh, subtract 53.1, and you get 306.9 uh, degrees. So that is another angle you get there. Then cos um, x is equals to negative 1. And you want to get the angle, get x, therefore, will be cos inverse of uh, negative 1, which will give you 180. And that one will only have one solution. You not have... Uh, not go to the quadrants to get our other solution. That one will give us one solution. Therefore, the angles that are within our range that you are required to give is 53 degrees, 53.1 degrees in the first quadrant. For this quadrant, you don't have because it's only sign that is positive and this one tangent is positive. This quadrant, uh, the angle is 306.9 degrees and in this quadrant, uh, not not quadrant. This one will not be in any quadrant. It is be an 80. You just key in using a letter cos inverse of negative 1 and get 180. Then from there, remember we are required to give our answers in uh, radians. So our overall solution in radians will therefore be uh, x is equals to 0 0.295 pi radians. Then pi radians, which is uh, 180. 180 is the one which is pi radians. Then 1.17 pi radians it is this one. Now, how do you convert this? If pi radian, pi radian is equals to 180, then what about 53.1 degrees? You get this, 0 0.29. If pi radian is equals to 180 degrees again, what about 306.9 degrees? That will give us 1.17 uh, pi radians. Let us solve this uh, trigonometric equation. So, 3 sine squared x minus 4 sine x plus 1 is equal to 0. And they're supposed to give you a solution within this range. x is less than or equal to 360 and x is greater than or equal to 0. So, the first thing is to arrange this equation uh, so that it forms a general uh, format of a quadratic equation. Now, let us see how you arrive to this. Sine x is equals to a third and sine x is equals to 1. These are the solutions that you get. So, let's begin uh, from 3 sine squared x minus 4 uh, sine x plus 1 is equals to 0. So, when you look at this equation, you notice that uh, it forms, um, or it is in the form of a quadratic equation. So, the first thing to do is to do some substitution whereby you're going to let your sine x be y or any other letter that you wish so when you substitute sine x with y you get 3y squared minus 4y plus 1 is equals to 0 so this one is now um, a simpler format of a quadratic equation which you can use uh, we can simplify and then later on you're going to substitute with sine x when you get the solutions so when you're solving this one, look for two numbers. When you multiply them, you get 3. Product is 3. When you add them, you get negative 4. So that is the first thing uh, we're supposed to do. So which are those two numbers? Uh, the numbers are negative 3 and negative 1. Negative 3 and negative 1. When you multiply, you get 3. When you add them, you get negative 4. So come and substitute those values here. Negative 3 and negative 1. 3y squared, negative 3y, negative 1y, which is give, uh, we're going to give us negative 4y, plus 1 is equals to 0. So, look at this, 3y squared minus 3y, what is common? 3y is common, factor out 3y, you get y minus 1, to close the bracket, you get plus 1, uh, y, what is common here, y and 1, and 1 is common, so plus 1, to bracket y minus 1 is equals to 0. So from here, uh, this is what you're going to do. You pick 3y plus 1, uh, y minus 1 is equals to 0. So when you're multiplying these two numbers and the result is 0, then it means that 3y plus 1 is equals to 0, or y minus 1 uh, is equals to 0. That is y minus 1 is equals to 0. So when 3y plus 1 is equals to 0, then y is equals to a third. And when y minus 1 is equals to 0, y is equals to 1. But remember that our y was uh, sine x. So y is equals to sine x. Remember here. So therefore, um, when you talk of um, y is equals to a third, 
we are going to substitute this y with sin x sin x is equal to a third and in this case if you want to get x you get the sine inverse of both sides you get x is equal to sine inverse of uh, that and that one will give you the angle is 19.5 degrees likewise when it comes to this one uh, y is equal to 1 remember sin x is equal to 1 that is we are substituting sin x with y you want to get x get sin inverse both side therefore sin inverse of 1 is going to give us 90 so we have two angles 19.5 degrees and 90 now remember these um, unit circle well, you're going to know uh, where the angles will lie. Which are the angles? Are these the only angles we have more? So, when you look at um, the solution that you got, sin x is equal to a third, you got the first one is 19.5, and the other one was uh, 90 degrees, and you're required to give our range is uh, from 0 to 360. Now, since um, this one sign is positive, since sign is positive here, we are going to pick uh, the first angle from the first quadrant where all the angles, all of them here, these are all the trigonometric ratios, sine, cosine, and tangent are positive. Therefore, sine is positive here. So the first uh, angle that you have is 19.5. It is the first quadrant. In the second quadrant also, sine is positive. And to get the angle in the second, uh, this one, all students take coffee. Uh, sign is positive here so therefore we are going to pick 180 uh, subtract our acute angle so 180 subtract 19.5 and you're going to get uh, 160.5 so 160.5 is the angle in the second quadrant and then for this one sine x is equals to 1 you're only going to have one solution therefore our overall solutions for the equation is x is equals to 19.5 first quadrant then 90 degrees and 160.5 thank you so much